just a quickie shot this morning. So y'all know that I had a switch failure on my kitchen sink back when we were traveling and the, the switch failed and was intermittently engaging while we were driving and actually emptied my water tank which thankfully was only about four and a half gallons and it entirely filled. I don't think you can even see that, but that's my, my water tank, my gray water tank. And luckily when that switch failed, there was only enough water in there that it didn't overflow my fill tank. And they did a little bit, but not enough to speak of. Well, this replacement switch that I grabbed at Walmart uh, and installed while we were on the road has now failed. So it's in the off position. See, look, it's it's not doing anything. And if I, oops, let me point this back over the sink, just in case. See, like I'm pushing and twisting it, and so I'm afraid to even fiddle around with this anymore. It's been getting worse and worse over the last week or so. And now, like yesterday afternoon, and now this morning, it's now not even functioning. So I'm going to replace it with a new switch. And I've got an idea that actually came from one of you viewers. And I'm going to not tell you about it until I get it installed. You're going to think it's really neat. All right, well, I'm getting ready to go out and dump my gray water tank. Uh, I've got to dump my two secret bottles. I have my blue water tank that's normally out on the back on the bike carrier that's in here tonight acting as my water supply because this switch has now totally failed and will not function at all you all know that i carry extra electronic stuff i can't help it <laughs> i know there's a lot of you out there that are just like me and you carry switches and things and cables and wires and plugs and adapters and so tomorrow i will pull out my spare parts bin one of them there's a couple under there instead of putting a switch back in that position one of you in the comments actually had the best idea i'm gonna put a push button switch i don't think you can see but i'm just pointing at the cabinet right here it's going to be at my knee height and I just happen to have that exact kind of switch. It's just a, a round, it's like a smaller version of, uh, which store was it? Was it Target or Staples that had the red button that you'd push on the desk that was, I don't know, part of their marketing commercial campaign years ago? Well, this is like a smaller version of that. It's a round red switch button that, you know, you push. And I originally had it, that was my horn switch originally for up in the cab. Um, but I, uh, I decided I didn't like it. So I switched to a, a, a temporary toggle switch, you know, a sprung switch. So you, you just tap it and the horn goes beep, 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 but it doesn't stick on. So it's what's called a temporary toggle. Okay, well, my friend Jim, over here in his FL50, I believe it is, just saved the day. Uh, so I told you that Jim is a mobile mechanic and you know, my, my sink faucet switch failed entirely. I've been using my blue water jug that normally sits out on my uh, bike carrier. You, you see it all the time. I've been using that for the last two days. I've been using that for the last two days inside, kind of on the cabinet, on the countertop for my water source. And so I just decided, I said, hey, let me pull this switch out and see if I can fix it. Well, the, the way that the switch is manufactured, it has a small spring and that spring just basically rusted apart, which is what made the switch fail. And, you know, I'm going to, I'm, I'm definitely going to upgrade to the knee switch. And speaking of that, 
Jim just told me that Napa sells a rubber boot covered recessed version of a temporary switch, push button switch, which is exactly what I need so that I can control my water flow with my knee when I'm using the sink. And he said, which I didn't know that there's a Napa up in Parker. I knew there was an O'Reilly's and there's like a, I don't know if it's AutoZone or one of the other big names. I didn't know there was a Napa up there. So next trip to Parker. So he said, just go into Napa and tell them you want one of their black temporary push button switches. And he said, it's exactly what you want. It mounts from the backside. Uh, he said it has a rubber boot. So it's exactly what I need. But he also had on hand a brand new toggle switch so that I can go get my, my sink back operating again. It's getting very windy, so I'm gonna cut this video off. But suffice to say, Jim just saved me because he had a toggle switch on hand. He told me about the push button one up at Napa that I'm gonna go pick up. I'm going to put Jim's contact info down in the video description again because he is a mobile mechanic and I, from my conversations with him, I would trust him to do work on my rig anytime. Very smart, very educated, uh, mechanical, uh, fix-it guy. So, And he's a mobile, any guy that's doing mobile mechanic work out of an ambulance, you know, you got to love it. <laughs> So we got a switch. We're going to go back and get it installed and get back up and running. So I'm going to take that round button switch. I'm going to mount it on the face of the cabinet right at my knee height. Because right now, like if I have to wash my hands, I have to flip the switch on and then start washing. And then I have to reach up and flip the switch off with very wet hands. And so I was always, you know, having to wipe up a big puddle of water around there. One of you in the comments suggested the, the knee switch, and I'm like, you're a genius. The commenter, not me. <laughs> the switch will be, like, kind of right where my spotlight is hitting, like right about there, knee height. I'm now inside. It's just coming up on 7 p.m., uh, I'm going to cook myself some Boba Lee pizzas, frying pan pizzas, because Christine and Ryan sent me the classical sauce and those Boba Lee pizza crusts. So as soon as I saw, as soon as I saw that those were in the box, I'm like, uh, I know what I'm eating for dinner tonight. I mean, there's no question about it. I was going to eat Boba Lee frying pan pizzas. <laughs> so I'm just getting ready to go out here and get my gray water dumped and I'm gonna I gotta be careful because uh, well I don't want to get sued but it is a full moon tonight and Lefty is out here on Coyote Watch right now all right I am embarrassed to say that this is now the fourth time that I have to take this switch out. What are you doing? What are you doing? Dude. What are you doing? Are you getting yourself wrapped up? We just came back from a trip into town, just a very fast trip. Just got back. Just got everything. Oh my gosh, that was a big one. So I've, I've given up on these beds here. Look at this one. This thing has just totally shredded. This is the second one. This is the replacement for the original one because the original one, the same thing happened. And this one is only uh, since we left New York. So, you know, a handful of months is all that this has lasted. And it's done. It started with a couple of small tears like two days ago. And now it's just, you can see. And, you know, I'm sure that him rolling around on his back with these buckles 
I mean, these are plastic, and then his, I'm sure that doesn't help, but come on. They, these things just fall apart. So the brand name, it's on here, some, would you, God, give me, it's OutRev. Oh, you, can I show them this? Hold on one second, buddy. O-U-T-R-A-V, OutRev. I'm done with them. So originally, I think when I first got the first one, I was all very excited about it because he loved it. He can lay out there. He's elevated off the ground. I'm sure it feels great. You know, he's kind of, it's almost like an old waterbed from the 70s, right? Who had a waterbed? <laughs> On the 80s, it was for me. Eight, yeah, 80s. King size waterbed, I remember. Gosh, waterbeds are not a thing anymore at all, are they? That's just totally, that's like pet rock. That's just gone in history. So anyways, he loved the thing. So when I first got the first one, I was very excited about it and said everybody should get one. Recommended it, you know, people would email me and say, hey, where'd you get that thing? And I would send them the link to it. And I'm like, yeah, go and get it. It's great. Now I just, I don't know. The material that it's made of, I can't see that there's any other kind of material that, that a thing like that would be made out of, you know? It's like your, your standard. Now, this thing has survived without a nick. It is getting affected by the sun. You can see... That's just like a decorative, uh, you know, the stitching is all still there, but I am watching this because this is, you know, his favorite. This is like his lazy boy. And so the only problem that we've had with it is the sun has baked this edge binding here. Uh, uh, what do you call that? Um, oh goodness, tafting. Come on, somebody knows. Put it in the comments. Somebody knows the word for what that edging is called. And don't put the word edging down there and then ha-ha. There's a, there's a term for it. I just can't think of what it is. But that's the only issue we've had with this chair. I mean, it's definitely sun faded. It used to be considerably darker yellow. You can, you can even see down in the... Oh, look at that. Yeah, see the difference in the color there? I hope it shows up. So it was it was considerably darker. So maybe, maybe mom is up for uh, a sewing challenge because I love that chair. Well, I love it because Lefty loves it. But I'm uh, in full embarrassment mode here. I have had nothing but trouble with this. So we're gonna pick you up on the good camera now. So y'all know this switch failed on us. The original switch failed while we were driving and was intermittently pumping and... Uh, yes, sir. Come on in, come on. He loved me so much, he follows me around. Okay, or do you wanna to listen to the story? You know the story, you've already heard the story. You've lived the story. You want to go up there in your chair? You can go up front. Go ahead. So the original switch failed intermittently, pumping while we were driving on the interstate or somewhere, and emptied our tank and overflowed my catch tank. So I, re uh, I replaced that original switch with a Walmart toggle switch. That one failed, so I needed a new switch. I walked around to all the folks in the area and, and I had the old toggle switch. It's just a standard, you, you know, you can get them at any auto parts store. Walmart has them. It's a standard click, click toggle switch. Same, same that I have like up front there for my backup camera. Same thing. So I walked up to Jim and uh, sure enough, he's like, yeah, I got one. You know, brand new, way better quality uh, switch. So I come back here to put it in. I go to strip back the wire 
to put some new terminals. I'm going to put new plug terminals on. And the wire, I used uh, some pretty heavy gauge. It's 14 gauge wire. Probably, you know, heavier gauge than, than is required. But I, I use a lot of 14 gauge when I'm running electrical items inside the truck. Low amp draw, but I'd rather have a larger wire uh, than using the thinner and it's easier to work with as far as stripping back the insulation and crimping terminals on so I had good thick quality wire I could not strip back I had some extra I had about six inches of extra and the the water the corrosion from water getting into the switch had I guess worked its way back into the copper elements and made that wire so brittle every time I tried to strip the insulation it would just snap the wire and so finally I was able to get it stripped and and keep about half of the copper because I just needed to get it back working again and I got it working and uh, you know triple taped it all back together and like a day later it just stopped working again and so I take it back apart and the job that I had done wasn't good enough I didn't have a good enough connection it turns out that the the female plug wire that I had left that was still good the female terminal must have had a bunch of corrosion down inside of it so I was able to clean it I put some uh, contact cleaner on the, the male spade and just and this sounds bad, but I just did the old in and out with the male and the female one a bunch of times with some contact cleaner and got it cleaned up to where it worked again. So that's, you know, several days ago now. It's been working fine. Last night I'm cleaning up after, after dinner and uh, I'm running it and I flip it off and then I go to turn it back on again. Nothing. So it went from working perfect to just not working. So let's see what we got going on. So it's in the off position right now. I'm going to put it in the on position and just mess with these connections and I'm not getting anything. Well, let me see if I've got power. Let me go get my test light and we're going to see if we got power. Yeah, we got power. And then we don't so it's this connection right here the one that I was just talking about where I was having trouble with the spade connection so obviously my fix it job didn't work because what what I really need to do is I need to replace the entire wire run because I don't know how far back that that corrosion has affected this wire I had never seen wire that got that brittle where I couldn't I couldn't strip the insulation off without snapping the wire. See, the problem is this wire, uh, I mean, I've stripped a ton of this with these same strippers. Uh, do you see all the powder come out of there? All the corrosion? And, you know, like half of the strands are gone. Cut this off and we're gonna solder this other side like we just did. go that's it come on mr. frog oh I got him I got him yes see without this tool Tim thank you again for giving me those wouldn't have been able to get mr. frog without him thinking that eventually I'm gonna be plumbing in uh, hot and cold water here so I'm gonna call this like you know still in the in the project phase this is all gonna be torn apart and, and worked on again at some point we're done we're done
We're done, we're done, we're done. We're back in business. Everybody, thanks for watching. Take care, be safe. Well, I can't believe this, but uh, the sink switch has just shit the bed again. I can't believe this. I'm using it, I just washed up for the night, got all done. I came back over here to rinse my hand off, I click it, and nothing. It, oh, now we got it working again. What is it this time? So it's this positive connection again. Even though I soldered it yesterday. Oh my God. So tomorrow, tomorrow we're gonna be rewiring this entire system with all new wire. So really the smart thing to do is to go up to Napa and get that, get that, uh, See, look, now it's not working. Yep. So it's... Even though I soldered it, I can't believe... Yeah. So, look, it's... It, I don't get it. It's it's like it's um you hear how the the amplitude and the sound of the pump is changing. It's not getting it's not getting a consistent amperage. So I think that this wire the corrosion of the of the elements of the wire is so bad that even when it does have a good connection, it's flaky and the, the amperage is all over the place. See, it should sound like that all the time. That See that? See, I'm able to it's like I'm throttling a motorcycle, you know, just by crunching around with this connection here. Oh yeah, this wire is hot going down to the pump. Yeah, I'm not using this anymore. Nope not gonna use it I can feel the, the it's not hot it's warm though yeah right right for the first for the first cup I'm using my lips because they're more sensitive than my fingers that's why I'm putting my mouth down there but the first couple of inches coming out of the connection the wire is definitely warm Look, it just, it just. Oh yeah, it. It definitely gets warm. Wow, that's kind of freaky. So the, the wire coming out of the switch going into the connection, the temperature is normal, it's room temperature, but then the power line coming out of the connection that goes to the pump, the first couple inches are definitely, I don't know if I've even got the camera pointed. These first couple of inches coming out of the connection, this is definitely 
warm, verging on hot. See, and then, then it cools back off. It cools back off after I turn it off. See, the pump should be... Oh yeah, that's just tin. Oh yeah. Getting pretty warm there. Um, I'm going to disconnect this. I'm going to cut it so it doesn't have any power going to it. And tape it off. And then tomorrow we're going to get this corrected. But I do not trust this. After feeling that warm wire like that, not good. Not good at all. So I'm going to cut this. Holy cannolis, put Mr. Frog back. I'll get the blue jug when we're done. Unbelievable. 